Good afternoon everybody. Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. I've got the wood stove going. I had a nice elaborate chimney but the uh, wind is blowing the wrong direction and so I had to dismantle it somewhat. But it's working safe and good. And well, you can see a piece of pipe hanging. I had it nicely suspended and vented out really good. But the wind was blowing in this direction today and blowing right down the hole. So right now it's preheating so it's smoking a little. Yeah, and that's why this is going to be an outdoor oven and not an indoor oven. This one in particular smokes a lot but until it gets heated up. Uh, the exhaust is getting clear though, so it's getting hot. It is heating up. Anyway, I'm, uh, I am going to make dinner today for Melanie and myself, all on my own using the wood stove. So let's see how this works out. Alright guys, inside I've washed some potatoes. I'm going to cut them up. They're a little bit older. Just dice them nicely. What we're doing is we're going to cook a meal in the Dutch oven over the antique wood cook stove. Michelle in the background giving her two cents. Now the potatoes are going to be a good bulk of it. That's what I always put down in the bottom of the pan. Cover the bottom of the pan nicely. I'm sure a lot of you have wanted to see me cooking for Melanie. The day has come, but I love cooking on a wood stove in cast iron, so that's my thing right there. That's why I'm excited about this today. I figure the more potatoes I make in there, it takes the, sucks up the flavor from the chicken and gives more meat, so to say, to the meal. I like a lot of potatoes and carrots and onions. I'm going to put, yeah, I might as well cook them all. I'm going to make this a good full pot. Leftovers are always good. And you heat them up in a Dutch oven on the wood stove again. It's perfect. Be back in a minute. Alright guys, I got some more stuff out. I'm going to have half an onion here. There's no waste in the homestead. Chickens get anything we don't eat. That uh, goes all off to the side. Goes to chickens later. Chickens are thankful. They love us for it. They love kitchen scraps. I don't know. I might put the whole onion in. I think I will. I think I'm going to open the window. I don't like cutting onions. Ah, I don't like cutting onions. Oh, be back in a minute. Ah, I'm crying. Okay, after much crying and groaning and pain, I'm uh, very sensitive to onions. I'm back. Now, a friend of mine taught me this, Trucker Buck. Use the back of the knife. You can skin a uh, potato or a carrot really fast and easy. See that? It really works well. This happens to be not too sharp a knife, so I'm in no danger of hurting myself, unfortunately. I mean, not that I want to hurt myself, but I mean, unfortunately, it's not that sharp. Look at how good that works. That's a massive carrot. OK, 
Carrots are good for the eyes. Michelle agrees. She's over in the background saying, oh yeah. There's less waste when you do it with a back of a knife too. And again, food for the chickens, all happy. I'm not sure I like doing this against a marble cutting board, but it was a gift Melanie got it as a gift at the uh, recent baby shower she went to. And it's a beauty. By the way, I don't remember where it was or when, but for a brief period I did work in a kitchen. I was not the chef, I was prepping for the chef. Alright, then anyway, I'll be back in a minute, we'll get the garlic prep and get that out. Okay, I got the garlic here. Dice that up a little bit, doesn't have to be too small. that in there a little bit of flavor now I'm going to go out and get some herbs in a minute I'll be right back with some spices too though hold on a minute now we're going to focus on this got some Old Bay seasoning we're going to use today sprinkle that on there for some flavor got to put a relatively large amount on there I found that if you use too little, there's no flavor in the food because most of the salts get sucked up by the potatoes and then you don't have any flavor left. Be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. I'm going to pop the chicken on there and then put some more seasoning on. And then we're going to put the uh, spices on. Uh, there's one. That's a massive, massive piece of chicken in here. I hope I can fit them in. Look at that. Big, big piece of the chicken. Alright, now we'll put some more seasoning on top of that. I'll make sure that it has a good amount of flavor on there. That's got to flavor that chicken through and through as it cooks. Alright, and then we got fresh from the uh, herb garden, our greenhouse, we got some oregano and some thyme and some rosemary. I'm just going to throw them on there. Now that's going to slow cook and those flavors are going to steep into the, into the uh, food down below as it cooks. We're going to slow cook this over the wood stove. Okay. Now, a little bit of salt and pepper. Again, that's going to work its way into the meat. So I'm make sure I get enough. Okay, now put the lid on and that's going to go out on top of the wood stove to cook all afternoon. See you outside. I got it on there, I just set it on. Look at that, that is a massive meal.
nice now it's gonna sit there for a while I got it on the hot side for now to heat it all up thoroughly once it starts steaming and simmering I'm gonna put it on the slow side and let it cook all day long forgot one thing guys haven't done this in a while that's since the tiny house a little bit of water in the bottom there you go yeah. keeps things from burning to the bottom get some water going in there to steam that up not too much just enough to cover the bottom I hear it simmering the natural juices of the meat and all the vegetables is going to start working through in there too and add to it so we just want to keep some moisture in there and uh, it'll start steaming and cooking and oh boy it's going to be good boy it's getting hot it's getting really hot is that hot to touch yep I can't hold that good very good and that's on the cool side now oh yeah look at that simmering can you see that oh that's good very good I think I'm gonna damp it down a little bit and slow down the cook well, let me see it again um, I'm not sure I don't want to fast cook it I want to slow cook it I think I'm gonna damp it down a little bit halfway slow down the cooking speed and slow down the temperature on the cool on the, on, the, on the low side there's the hot side and the, the low side and in a little while I'm gonna put some acorn squash in the oven and cook that up as well but I, I have to time it to have that done when we're ready to eat so I've got to wait a little while on that squash but we're gonna bake some squash in the oven tonight too dinner is gonna be entirely done on the antique wood stove alright guys this is just about done it's just got to boil down there's a lot of liquid in there now came out of the chicken and that just has to boil down so I've got this offset a little bit but look at all I mean that's cooked well that's gonna be really good so I just got this offset so I can steam out and now over here I've got some acorn squash that I've cut in half and I took out the seeds of course and put in some butter salt and pepper and I'm gonna put this in the oven and we're gonna have that along with our meal okay so I'm gonna shove that in right now I hope it fits I've never used this yet oh the the grate isn't in I should have checked that before trying to cook with the oven huh oh yeah look at that it fits right in there slide that in all the way in that's not too hot to touch and we'll let that cook for a while looks good oh it's cooking look at that it's starting to cook good 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 we'll be eating pretty soon Melanie threw some rice on the side so I think some of the juice will be okay in here I'll still leave that open a little good stuff let me check the fire all right let's see what it looks like in here yeah yeah we can use some that's a decent burn chamber it's all right it's not the biggest but it works well, that's not a very good piece of wood here we go hope that's not too long that one's too long there we go I cut some uh, nice sized pieces of wood in here or for here earlier look at that it works guys look at that oh good stuff that's coming out oh look at that look at that I'm liking this stove I'm liking it wow free energy all right guys oh look at that that's perfect we're gonna go inside and have some dinner see you inside <sighs> all right we're gonna eat soon thanks for watching guys we are going to enjoy our dinner look at that's an amazing looking meal this is Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project please like subscribe and share Follow our daily videos as we strive to become fully self-sufficient and off the grid on a budget. I'm going to enjoy dinner.